Richard, come over and talk to me.
Put your hands on your back and roll over. Put your hands on your back. I'm not asking you. He don't fuck with you. Right. Yeah. Roll over. Roll over. Hey. Roll over. Hey, I'm gonna have to punch you in the face. Roll over now. Roll over now. Y'all trying to do it for them, man. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll What's up, y'all? King JB here. I know y'all just got done watching uh, the video of these police beating this man's ass. Taking a walk around the neighborhood. Maybe the police will get me today. Don't know. But I'm basically chilling. It's early in the morning, getting a little walk in. Gotta take the boy, go do some things. But anyway, that's not the point behind this video. The point behind this video is this video that you just seen. Where we got a group of motherfuckers. Police beating the dog shit out of this man. I mean, this dude had to have gotten hit with this baton probably 30 times. That's a lot. I don't know if any of y'all have ever been hit in one of these batons. But as you can tell by looking at me, you can assume I probably have. So with that being the case, let me assure you, that shit is, that's, that big ass stick hurts like hell. Getting hit with that damn thing 30 times in the leg had to have broke that man's leg. Had to have. I mean, I can go on and on about the damage he took, but then the more cops that came, you saw the beating, you would think that they would begin breaking it up. But the beating got even worse. I mean, they mounted that man like it was MMA. And was uh, dropping full-fledged ground and pound on his ass. Now, see, I know a lot of y'all are going to make this into a black-white thing. No, ladies and gentlemen, sorry to break it to you, but what it is, it's not a black-white thing. It's a police state martial law thing. A lot of y'all don't understand that. Y'all think that every time the police beat up a black man, that it's because he's black. What y'all don't understand is because that's just the way shit is these days. Because the police and this tyrannical government believe they're being ran by martial law. A different way of life. This is a police state. You'll hear Alex Jones, people like that talk about it all the time. And of course the race baiters. 
want to say it's all about race. Proof is in the pudding, man. Proof is in the pudding. There's absolutely no way you could watch that video and see race in, involved. What's up, man? It's just the way it is. So, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're gonna have to excuse me walking around the neighborhood. So, shit, I'm big in this Florida heat. But anyway, the bottom line here <laughs> is that this man got beat because he was not part of the, the plan. Has nothing to do with black or white. Has everything to do with authoritarianism. This police force thinks they're the fucking army. This police force thinks they can beat anybody. Whether it's young, whether it's your old ass grandma and grandpa. That's what they believe. Why? Because we let them. When a police officer gets popped for this bullshit that he does, all you dumbass citizens start holding candlelight vigils and shit for him. Oh, it's so sad. No, it's not. Because let me tell you now, the policeman that you feel sorry for that just got popped, Chances are, he's gonna pop or beat up an innocent motherfucker later just because we don't appreciate the, uh, the way they talk to us like we're children. And I know some of y'all may be saying, JB, how the fuck do you know? Well, check my record. Been to prison three times. All for battery on an officer. I like to fight the police, as you can see. So, I tell you this from experience. The police, at any chance they get, will take the opportunity to whoop your ass. Then they bump into a motherfucker like me who's got a little training and they wanna press charges. It's just real talk. They will stack the charges. They will fuck you over. If you watch this video, you'll see this black man. All he did was not want to turn over on his belly. It may have been a mental issue. He may have been on drugs. But either way, he didn't deserve to be beat with a baton. Um, tased all that shit that, that's going on I know some of y'all saying well he could have just rolled over yeah he could have but when are we going to stop rolling over when are we going to realize these motherfuckers work for us we don't work for the police, it's vice versa. They are here to, to protect and serve, to prevent crime, not boss us around. It's a hot motherfucker out here today. See the palm trees, that's Florida life, you gotta love it. Anyways. When are we gonna learn that these motherfuckers wearing these funny little costumes are just regular people like us? They're not our authority. They're just not, man. And for some reason, none of y'all seem to get that. Black or white. So, with all that said, this man, first of all, let me also say this, 
This man that took the beating, you a motherfucking beast. You had to have been on some kind of shit. I mean, to take that many hits and tased. It took like nine of them motherfuckers to even get you on your stomach. That's some bad shit. I know the feeling, trust me. But, bottom line is, everybody's in outrage over Trayvon Morton. Fuck that. Where's the outrage over this video? Everybody talks about Trayvon Morton. We don't have video evidence of the Trayvon Morton shit. We do have video evidence of two things. This beat down, that old man shooting that 14-year-old. Hell, we got all kinds of shit with it. And the damn Oscar Grant shit. Hey. Where is the protest about that? Because punk ass Al Sharpton and Jeff Jesse Jackson ain't standing up. They're the weakest leaders anybody of any group could ever have. And y'all know it. There's a lot of frogs out here. But anyways. I know this was a long rambling on video, but it's hot. I didn't have my same spice. It takes a minute for fat motherfuckers to get them thoughts out while they walking in the Florida summer heat. Anyways, I'm out of here. Make sure y'all make the same stance for this motherfuckers that you did for Trayvon. And I'm talking to both white and black people. Make a stand for something real. For something that we know. And that's these police and the martial law and the police state. That shit's not a conspiracy theory. As you can see, that shit's very legit. But y'all let all these damn liberal leaders tell you that all we talk about is conspiracy theories when we say the NWO the police state it's all conspiracy theory right ain't that what a Barack Obama's telling you there's all bullshit scandals is it really I done lost about 10 pounds on this motherfucking walk but I'm out of here, King JB. Uncensored. You know what time it is. Till next time, I'm out.